Uh, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Brickheads review. And this one is on all the ones based upon the Justice League movie. Which are The Flash, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Cyborg. So on some of the boxes, we see LEGO logo, Brickheads logo, DC logo, picture of the Brickhead that comes within, and the name and the number, and the... Uh, and then age group, and the set number, name, and the amount of pieces. Then on each side of them is some cool artwork of their symbols of the movie. You know? Then on the back of which is how you put them on the stands and showing all the ones available. And yeah. And on to the booklets. Well, I'm going to show just one. They're all kind of similar and stuff. Same way as the other one, other brickheads that I do. On the back of the online survey, the pieces included, the ads for all of them, and the last building steps. So now, on to the brick hats themselves. Starting out with the Flash. Well, this one thing they all have is the base plate, the same exact same, or same exact one as the other ones do, but except to Series 2 compared to just a 1. And as you see, the legs of which kind of similar to Black Widows from the Marvel line. And some nice uses of dark red and some accents of black and gold and a couple of brown, which is, you know, kind of has in the movie. And a couple of nice printed tile pieces with the lightning bolt sign and also like the six pack and all. And the hands of which in the dark brown color. And some gold to the side to be the side lightning bolts, which he usually has. And also the top, or the forehead of which has the like some nice uh, uh, curving pieces, just like what Cat and Phasma had to give a feel of the mask and all. And then on the back head, which has some of these like venting pieces to be like the back of the helmet, and they put pretty good use to them. And also those, another more use of the, like these small side pieces in dark red, which of course is good. And well, what else to say? Not much, but that is it for the flash. And on to Wonder Woman, a little different than the uh, Comic Con one and the uh, building Lego building event one. But some similar stuff like like gold kneecaps and on the legs and also some like a lot of tan pieces, especially for the arms, but with the like gray pieces, why not silver? I think they should be silver because they are in the movies. And also has the sword and all and the shield, kinda like similar to what the minifigures have. With the the eagle and everything on it. And then the like chest plate piece and belt piece, which has some good printing to them. But the little thing I kind of don't understand is like how the like skin color on the on the brick kind of doesn't match up with the rest of them. I don't get that. And then how would be like forehead piece with the trademark tiara whatever and some but good snack techniques used for the hair just like we saw on Kylo Ren and Ray and all and it's from the top part and yeah and then on to with Aquaman who just like the minifigure versions has the uh, trident with a lightsaber hilt onto there just to act as some like extra detailing to that. 
and as you can tell, you can use of all these like dark green pieces, and, and it's a nice printing for the belt piece, and also for the like chest plate piece, which is also used on the back, and some good technique built for the scruffle beard, and also for the hair, some like highlight parts of it which he of course has in the film but also a lot of these like on the top which done pretty nicely and what else oh yes nice use of gold to the side so and that is it for Aquaman and then on to a cyborg or lastly cyborg A lot of this, like, uh, light and dark gray to them instead of silver, but it kind of still works for him. And hey, same exact thing, just like we saw on Cat and Phasma and Black Widow ones. And also the, like, some nice printing technique to them, just like the Flashes and Iron Man's did. And also the gold bar piece, but in gray to act as some detailing to him. And of course, on one arm is has two of them to be his uh, shooter arm, whatever. And it's the only f amount of proposability on it, which the other ones really don't. But that's alright. It also has some like darker skin pieces, which he of course does have. So at least did pretty good at making this like almost half and half, like the traditional eye and the red stud eye. And on the back is some good printing with the vents and the gold power pieces. This is just all around done pretty well. I think they're all done pretty well. And now, on to it for the final work. I can get them all up. So the final verdict of it on these. These I think are really well done briquettes. Like good printings and everything to them. Kind of will capture the characters that they are. And if you so if you've seen the Justice League movie, then and then go ahead and get these. And if you're continuing your collection of the brickheads, then go ahead and pick these up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.